First off, thank you so much for spending your time watching my video. I appreciate it so much because remember in life, Time is the one thing that we can never get more of, so spend it wisely. Thank you for spending it with me. Um, so in this video, I want to show you my entire t-shirt collection that I'm currently sitting in front of. It took me a really long time to find all of these tees and to just put them in one spot, to fold them all, get them all, to be in these piles behind me without falling over. They've already fallen over multiple times. Hopefully they stay up long enough for me to film this segment. Um, so. What is the purpose of me doing this video? Well, I wanna show you all of my t-shirts because I think they're cool. I spent a lot of time collecting them. I started collecting t-shirts when I was, I think in middle school. How it started was that I was really interested in music and my parents would buy me band tees. So like Led Zeppelin tees, Beatle tees, basically just tees with musicians on them. And at the time I was like 12, 13 years old and the teachers would always come up to me and say, you don't know who the Beatles are, you don't know who Led Zeppelin is. And I knew who they were. I was so into music at the time. And everyone was like so impressed that I had these t-shirts and I knew who these musicians were. And it just got me really interested in shirts and collecting shirts. So I've been collecting shirts for more than 15 years now, probably 16, 17 years. It depends on when you, when I, when I actually consider uh, the year that I started. Um, so it's been a long time. I've amassed a ton of them. I've never had them all in one spot before. So seeing them all together in one spot is kind of uh, surprising to me because I didn't know that I had this many of them. And I've kind of been coming to the conclusion that I have too much stuff and I need to get rid of things, need to start letting things go, but I didn't realize that I had this many t-shirts. I really feel that personally, I'm at a time in my own life where I want to start moving on to whatever that next stage is. And as a kid, it was fun to collect t-shirts and to really spend a lot of time collecting fashion and doing all that kind of stuff. And now that I'm getting a little older, I just want to make sure that I have time to do the things that I really want to do in my life before it's too late. Collecting t-shirts is super cool and I don't look down on anyone who does it because I did it for a very long time, but I don't think that I can say it makes the world a better place and that is what I want to do going forward that's one of the things I want to do with my YouTube channel is just help people give advice in any ways that I can and just you know do what I can to just make change make a difference and that's another reason why I'm trying to get rid of these shirts is because of sustainability for one person to have this many t-shirts it just doesn't make sense these can be out there in the world being worn I do not wear these t I don't wear all these t-shirts it's impossible for me to wear all these t-shirts there's a select few that I wear over and over and over again my favorite ones and one of the things I want to try to do is find the ones that I really love, the ones that I really care about, that really mean something to me, and pull those out and save them, and take the rest of them and either donate them or sell them and use the money to help me move on to that next stage of my life, whether it's taking that capital and putting it towards educational purposes, taking classes, buying film gear to help me with this channel. All that stuff would help me so much more at this stage in my life than just having a ton of t-shirts. As much as I love them and as hard as it is to say goodbye, I know it's time to let them go. And making this video, I know it's gonna personally help me say goodbye to my t-shirts in a way that is just more ritualistic, I guess, than just dropping them all off at Goodwill or just selling them all outright. I'm really hoping that the ones that I do sell go to homes where they will be appreciated and used rather than just sitting in my closet because the reality is a lot of these have just been sitting in my closet. Some of them are from when I was younger and they don't even fit me anymore so there's really no sense in keeping them. I understand that like I do have a sentimental attachment to some of them but that's not enough of a reason for me at this stage in my life to keep them. I'll show them in this video. I'll have some documentation of them. I can always go back and look at this and remember them. I don't need to have them in my closet. It. Simplicity is something that's becoming more and more important to me as I get older so that I just have the time to do the things that I want to do and not spend so much time, you know, organizing my things and buying things, purchasing things, collecting things, spending time on materialistic things rather than spending time out in the world, actually doing good things, doing art, uh, filmmaking, doing comedy, doing all the things that I like to do. I want to make sure I have more time and more means to do those things rather than just 
keep using all my time to collect and to purchase things. It's just not something I know. It's just something I know that I don't want to do going forward. And I think that there is a little bit of a debt that comes along with everything you own. Everything requires maintenance. It requires storage. And I just, I don't have the time to take care of all these t-shirts. Over time, things start to fade. Things start to get brittle. I don't know if you guys have seen, there's videos of people who never wore their sneakers and they pull them out years later and the entire sole just like falls apart when they put them on. I don't want that to happen to my shirts. I'd rather someone in the world have them and wear them rather than them just sit in my closet and deteriorate and get gross and moldy over time. It just doesn't make sense to me anymore. I want to go forward into the next stage of my life, be being someone who's just okay with having less, having less stuff to wear, even just having less choices, like less shirts to choose from will save me time and mental energy going forward, I think. And I just think that it's easy to ignore certain problems in life, certain things that you've built up. Not that having a lot of things is that much of a problem. It, I, it is in some ways, I guess it's how you think about it. Um, I know that if I kept buying shirts and just kept collecting things and kept letting things just build up over time, then that would become a problem for me. It's become a problem for me right now because I don't feel that it's right to just hold on to all this stuff that I can't even use. It's definitely going to be sad to say goodbye to some of these shirts, but I know that it's something I have to do. I know that this is a problem that I have to face, getting rid of these, organizing them, putting them back out into the world, hoping that someone good gets them who will enjoy them. And I think that it's it's really easy in life to just keep going on and on and on, doing the same thing, getting stuck in the same habits, and not taking the time to reflect and look back on what it is that you've been doing, what it is that you've done in the last 10 years, and really think about how is that helping or hindering what it is that you want to do in the next 10 years. And in the next 10 years of my life, I definitely don't want to spend as much time collecting stuff and buying materialistic things as I did in the previous few years. So I know at this point, as hard as it is, as time consuming as it is to go through all of this stuff and list it on eBay and sell it and decide what I want to keep and to make this video, I know that it's time to do that. So thank you for watching. I'm going to attempt to show you as many of these shirts as I can. And I just want to say one last thing. This shirt that I'm wearing is an online ceramics t-shirt and I have a bunch of online ceramics t-shirts. It's actually my favorite brand these days and if you guys have been following my channel you've probably seen I've done some other online ceramics videos but in this video I'm not going to show any of my online ceramics t-shirts because people have asked me specifically to do a video about those so I'm going to do another video just about those. So don't, if you want to see those shirts don't, you know, don't keep watching this whole video thinking they're going to be in here. I'm going to make a whole different video for those. But anyway let me go and try to start organizing these. I'm going to try to put them, I'm going to try to pile them up in a way in which I can count them because I'm really curious as to how many of these I actually have and then after I count them I'll start showing them to you. So I laid out all my teas in groups of 10 so that I can count them out and it turns out I have 320 t-shirts and this isn't counting my online ceramics t-shirt collection so I can confidently say that I can wear a new t-shirt every single day of the year without repeating any of them and that is absolutely absurd. I've never had them all in one place before so I never actually realized how many I had until now. I would never counted them before. They just kind of have been accumulating over the past 15 years. So seeing them all in one place, counting them, realizing how many I actually have is putting it in perspective and really He's just drilling it home what I already know, which is that it's time to say goodbye to a lot of these. I'm gonna to attempt to show you all of these shirts, and like I said, there's over 300, so I'm gonna to try to go as quickly as I can. I'm not gonna make the decision as to whether or not to keep them or to sell them just yet, because then it will take way too long to show these. So I'm just gonna go through them as quickly as I can, and if any of them mean something significant to me, I will talk about them. So let's get started. event that John Waters did where he was doing like a, he used to do like a speaking lecture series.
Twix tea that I got many, many years ago at the Hard Rock Cafe with my grandmother, so I'm absolutely keeping that one. This is a newer tea that I got from Brain Dead Studios in Los Angeles. It has the Dead Ringers poster. It's a movie by David Cronenberg, actually one of my favorite one of my favorite movies of all time, actually. If you haven't seen it and you're into weird movies, definitely check it out. So I'm keeping that one. Haven't even gotten the chance to wore that, wear that one yet, because I just got it. This is another one that I recently got. It says Food of the Gods. It has Terrence McKenna on there. I really like McKenna's lectures and his writing, his general mentality, so definitely keeping this one. Vintage Bart Simpson, definitely one of my favorites. Um, these next two are Stephen King. These are from a company called Out of Print and they actually uh, make teas with book covers on them. This is early 2000s Ozzy Osbourne tea that I begged my mom to get me. It has Blizzard of Oz on the back. Pink Floyd, a momentary lapse of reason tour. Uh, 87, yeah, this is a true vintage tea. I got this over a decade ago, back when vintage teas were not as expensive as they are today. Vintage Pink Floyd from the wall on the back. It says, Mother, should I trust the government? And I will let you read the rest. ACDC, uh, 1985 tour. This is a true vintage tea of theirs. This is another dumb good tea. This is from Edward Scissorhands. It's got a really cool little uh, back quote. What does it say? People are, people are afraid of me because I'm different. This is a, a Cody DeFranco tea. He's an independent designer. Uh, he does, uh, he has an Instagram page where you can find his stuff. Um, he does these really nice prints. Let me see if I can show you the sleeve on this. It says, delightful, I don't know if you can see this in the overhead cam, delightful doomsdays. And then on this sleeve, we have a lot of, a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting prints here. Just really nice screen printing on his part. See that? And then the back of this actually also has a lot of really cool printing too. I'll hold that up, give you a look at that. Well, this is a Chinatown market tea. It says, keep your eye on the sky. And on the back it says, they're coming. If you see something, say something. A special service announcement brought to you by Chinatown Market. This is a liquid blue. This is a... Alice in Wonderland theme. I think the front says we're all mad here, yeah. and the back says who are you? A Johnny Cash tea where he's uh, he's got his finger up. My dad actually got this for me in Nashville. Uh, he knew that I would like this, and I do. This is definitely a shirt that I want to start wearing more, so absolutely keeping that one. Um, and this last one in this stack is a liquid blue wizard tea. This is a reprint from liquid blue. This is not the original from the 90s. I honestly just thought this print was like so crazy that I had to get it, and I think wizards are kind of cool. This one is another vintage Bart Simpson tea. Another Cody DeFranco tea. Let me see if I could show you guys. Um, this one says on the sleeve, I let love in. Very cool, I like this right here. He does a really good job of screen printing, so seriously, look him up if you are on Instagram. This is cool, this is like, I do like to wear this one around Valentine's Day. It's just a cute tee, and the back has this graphic on it. So this one is a very cool Simpsons tee, itchy and scratchy land. It's got the print in the back. So this is a bootleg, and in the back it says, it's the feel-good show of the 90s, and has that print in, I don't know what font that is, but that's like a font they used to use in the TV guides a lot. We got a Simpsons Pin Pals tee, one of my all-time favorite episodes. I'll show that in the top cam too because I just absolutely love that back graphic. A Mr. Burns Casino tee. If you like The Simpsons, you'll all know. Tour. This is official, not a reproduction. This is the actual 
tea. You can see it's beat up. I did get this many, many years ago. This is from a James Taylor concert that I went to and he actually signed it right there. That's it. These were all my teas. I can't believe I actually was able to show every single one of them if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much. I know this has probably been a lot longer than my other videos. I haven't done the edit yet, obviously, so I don't know how long it is, but I know this is gonna be a long one. Um, if you're interested in any of these teas, let me know in the comments below because I am gonna be selling a lot of these. Uh, if you're interested in my online ceramics t-shirts, which is one that I'm wearing right now, I'm gonna do an entire video about those as well so hang in there if you want to see that thank you guys so much for watching I have to go and organize these teas figure out which ones I'm gonna sell figure out which ones I'm gonna keep and I should tell you one last thing the cat the the uh, the criteria I came up with for whether or not I'm gonna keep a tea is whether or not I'm actually gonna wear it and if it fits right so I actually have to go and try on a ton of teas now and make a lot of decisions 320 decisions to be exact but anyway thank you once again for watching please do not forget to comment, like, subscribe. All that stuff means so much to me and it really helps me with the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so if you help me out with that, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.